hi welcome to the channel um today i thought we'd do something a little bit different um obviously those that's a uh, regular to the channel will have seen the problems i had with my leisure battery the other week um obviously we found the problem on that turned out that it was a bad earth um just if i I'm just going to show you as now so obviously i've been driving the the van around a little bit now so we've got Obviously, engine switched off. Uh, it's been parked up for about an hour now. Uh, we're showing 12.7 in there, so still pretty good with um, with the original battery on there. But obviously, because I thought I needed a battery, um, I did actually go ahead and order one. That has arrived. Um, what I've decided to do instead of sending the battery back, I've decided to keep the battery, and I'm going to piggyback it to. The one that's already there so giving us twice the amount of uh, energy power that we need um, so it's not going to come in wrong so anyway today i thought i'd do a quick unboxing never done an unboxing before i've opened plenty of boxes but never done an unboxing video so here we go bear with me for two seconds so for those that's ever picked their leisure battery up you'll realize actually how heavy these are um unbelievably heavy um it says on the on the package there it's 20 kilos is the weight they've got on for the uh, the couriers and stuff um it's probably about right but obviously on the these are the band and straps to secure the box they have put a little bit of a handle bit on there you don't normally use band and straps for carrying but in this particular instance it looks like they're safe enough they have put a little handle strap there to help carry but when you're just carrying that in your fingers that's one hell of a weight to be lugging around so anyway we've got it we've now got it in the van um the courier guy that delivered it was from uh, dx the delivery company and he was very kind to lift it into our hallway for allison because i wasn't in at the time um so obviously within the package it looks like we've got the delivery note and the invoice um so this battery, um, the original price, I know I did actually get a bit of discount off. I think it was originally supposed to be something like £160, something daft like that. Um, there was a little bit of a discount code at the time as well, so I ended up getting it for £137. So £137 for, to be honest, I can't even remember what I ordered. It's, it's 110 amp hours, um, which is, I think, the same as what I've got, if I remember rightly. Um, so I'll just cut this up. Plenty of secure packaging on there. up and flick you around a second so obviously this is the box I should say there's plenty of packaging that's just been wedged in to stop it moving around uh, it is the AGM LPX 110 110 amp hours um, it has the carry handle on there um and up these green bits is the terminal covers so the plan is that that's where my current battery sits and this one i'm hoping it's just going to sit in that side and then i can just box it in on the end just to keep it secure like i have with that one so Let's try and lift this out and see if we can get that in there in one go. Just lifted out a little bit of the polystyrene because uh, it was really packed in there nice and tight. So let's try and get this up and in. Oh yeah, that's gonna... That's the current battery. It's the new battery. Still got plenty of room. Um, Probably just going to put some kind of button or something across there just to stop it moving around. 
Uh, I've put a bracket on the floor for that one so it doesn't shift sideways and it's obviously boxed in with this box. Still got plenty of storage on that side. Uh, normally just got a couple of bits of tools in there as well. Spare uh, diesel can, toilet roll, air compressor, um, just bits and pieces. So there's still plenty of room on there. Now the idea piggybacking it, um, because I've got this in play, what I might actually do is just put some access holes, one there and one there, and then just run the cables straight through. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look. So just uh, another bit of the unboxing. Um, when I ordered the battery, I ordered some uh, cables as well. Um, so these are the 30 centimetre cables. I thought 30 centimetres would have been adequate, but I'm looking at that now. And I'm thinking potentially they may not be. I may need to get some longer ones. I do have some of this cable in the shed, I think, so I might just be able to make a couple anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're off decent quality. Um, just have a quick check. So yeah, I mean, so obviously, as I say, if I put a hole through there, it'll run direct that way. There's still, there's plenty of play on that. And likewise with the, the earth cable. So yeah, I think that'll be, uh, um, I'll put some links down in the description. Um, we, we have just joined uh, Amazon affiliation links. So the links that I'll put down there, um, hope you don't mind, but if you use them links, if you're interested in either the cables or the battery itself, um, if you buy using them links, we do get a little bit of commission. So that would be really nice if you were buying these, then you're actually supporting us as well. So just been into the shed, I took that piece out, um, which was more than the support. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, most of my tilters across my daughters at the minute, so I'm using the, the worst pillar drill in the world that's got a mortar that's out of a, I don't know, wind up toy or something. Um, I don't know why I started cutting that big hole when I didn't actually need a hole that size. I'm just putting wires through it. So anyway, I managed to swap that hole saw out because it was rubbish anyway and put a smaller one in and managed to get managed to get some smaller ones through. Plenty of room for cables. So we'll head down there and you can have a look at it getting fitted. So I've just currently loosened these terminals off. So we'll take that one off there. Just while I'm messing around and we'll take that one off there when I'm messing around and this was tight getting it out uh, not sure whether I got it in the in or out the last time let's have a look Whoa. yeah I've got the rail snug fit that's roughly in its position there so, um, cables on. I'm not sure if it makes a difference about the master earth going from this battery or from the second battery. Um, I think I did say that on another video where the uh, the Master Earth came from the second battery. I don't know whether that was just out of convenience or whether it was important. So I think I'll do the same. So... Bollocks. <laughs> That's my Master Earth, so I'm going to feed that one through that side. It probably doesn't make a difference, but I'm not going to chance it. Um, I'm going to try and get that back out. Uh, 
and then on here will be I just wonder if I can move your roof further bear with I need to put it back on there so um, so on this side is it's going to be me the new battery and another cable and a washer and a wing nut all the boot to get that one sorted and be fiddly with the, with the MS I'm struggling with keeping my fingers nipped together been with us getting it I think now Right, so they're all nice and tight. Uh, so the next one is to do the same with the live. Oh, who knew I could get a 30 minute video out of a 10 minute job. <laughs> Let's get that nipped on again. Right, shove that through. That wall. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I should have made the bigger wall. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to push this uh, side through first, the smaller end. And if I'd done that bigger wall, I'd start the down, I'd have went through any bother. Right, try again. Put that onto that. And I'll wash it, hold everything together. Then, wing nut. Right, that's ready to go as well. Uh, right, so I think, bear with us two seconds, I'm going to just secure that, that box in again, because I need access to the screws on this side, and then we'll lift the new battery in and get that connected. Look at that to me. Right, got that in place. Whew. So I am now going to add that main earth onto this bolt. It was actually this earth that was causing all the problems uh, the other day. So it's actually earthed underneath the seat um, and part of the the chassis on the seat. When I got the van the the leisure battery was actually located underneath the passenger seat. So a lot of the main wiring was up that end, uh, but it didn't suit what I wanted. I wanted everything down this end. Right, so hopefully I've got enough to get that. that earth under there, I might have to move that forward a touch. Gonna get there any further than that, I think. Right, so I'll tighten that back up. Tighten up the right way, man. Sorry for the noise outside. I think uh, somebody's coming around with a petrol strimmer. Yeah, like probably not either after all the huffing and puffing I'm doing. It's one of the worst things with um, the health conditions I've got. So obviously the leukaemia 
and the MS both causes breathlessness so I get really breathless at doing the lightest of things um, right, that seems to be on there quite tight I'm just gonna loosen off the other one and get that into play hopefully Right, I'll get the other side on here. Let's try and a bit of room. So, after a lot of huffing and puffing and cursing, <laughs> um, finally got everything connected. So, I'll flick you around and have a look. The old battery and then the new battery just sitting in there. Uh, we're now showing 12.9 on there. So, all good. Um, so, yeah, hope this video has <laughs> either been entertaining or it's been helpful, one of the two. Um, I'd like to thank. Uh, channel members, uh, especially uh, Hudson Van Life. Um, I've had some good advice from him, so thank you so much for that. Um, also a big shout out to uh, Jimmy on another channel. I will leave his link below, give him a shout out as well. Uh, it was Jimmy that I'd saw one of his videos that he's got on his uh, YouTube channel um, about connecting the batteries up um, and reasons why to do it this way as opposed to a different way, which was really helpful and insightful so i'll give jimmy a shout out there so thank you so much again thank you so much for watching um see you in the next one